Today's tutorial will be about melanocytic nevi, or more commonly known as moles. We hope you find this tutorial helpful. Well, melanocytes uh, are what make up moles, and melanocytes are the cells within our skin that give us color. Clusters of the, these melanocytes uh, make up melanocytic nevi, or moles. The average adult has about 20 moles, uh, but if you're a fair skin, you're probably going to get more. Or if you have a genetic uh, predisposition, you know, a family history of lots of moles, then there's a good chance you will get lots of moles. The degree of sun exposure, how much sun exposure you get, will influence the number of moles you will grow. And the more sun, the greater the risk that one of these moles may turn into a cancerous growth. Most of our moles uh, occur by about the age of 20, and there are several different types of moles that we talk about. Now, if you have a mole present at birth, it's called a, a congenital nevus, or more commonly known as a birthmark. Uh, the acquired nevi, these come on after birth, and they're a junctional compound and intradermal. Uh, these are the more common types, and moles tend to mature through these different types of moles. So they start out as junctional in most cases, so they're smooth and brown. Over time, uh, the melanocytes will sink deeper into the skin, and when that occurs, the skin will raise, and, the, and, and this is a very gradual change. As the skin raises, the mole may fade in color or change in color, uh, and then it's called a compound nevus. So a dome-shaped kind of brown mole uh, is often a compound nevus. So the melanocytes are present within the top layer of skin and in the second layer of skin. When the mole cells, the melanocytes, uh, are in all in the dermis, the second layer of skin, they're called intradermal nevus, and so that's the third stage uh, of maturation uh, for most moles. Now, if you noticed, all of these moles, they're round to oval, they're fairly uniform in color. So this is what we want to see in a typical melanocytic nevus. Well, the worry is that melanoma can sometimes develop within a mole. Uh, they can also develop de novo, just on normal skin. You may get a brand new uh, spot that's melanoma from the very beginning, uh, but about 50% uh, uh, to 70% of the time, depending on what study you read, uh, moles, uh, melanoma cancer can uh, develop from a pre-existing pre mole. About 1 in 58 uh, Caucasians in the United States will now get melanoma in their lifetime. That risk was about uh, 1 in 1,500 back in 1930. Uh, so our habits, our culture, uh, of sun seeking and the use of tanning beds has greatly increased our risk for melanoma. Now, one in a thousand risk uh, for African Americans. If you have dark skin, uh, you have natural sun protection, and so your risk for melanoma is lower. One in 200 for Hispanics, you can see. Uh, when diagnosed early, if we catch a melanoma, er, melanoma cancer early, the cure rate approaches 100%. That's why so much information uh, is put into early detection. Um, once you have spread, once you have distant metastasis, also known as METs, your survival is about six to nine months. Um, so what causes it? Well, again, sun exposure is one of our leading causes. And so what I tell my patients is that over our lifetime, we can uh, only uh, accumulate so much sun damage. Once we exceed that amount, your risk for skin cancer is very high. Once you uh, fill up your sun cup, we can't dump it out and start fresh. We just have to move forward and really uh, watch closely. So uh, the goal is, number one, try not to let your sun cup get full. And if it is full, moving forward really protects your skin from any further sun damage. So what are we looking for in moles? Well, we have these general guidelines that were developed, the ABCDEs of melanoma. And so we're looking for the ugly duckling mole, one that just doesn't look quite right doesn't look uniform in shape. It's not uniform in color. Uh, it breaks one of the rules. So if a mole breaks any one rule, we want to see it. So A is for asymmetry. So does one half look like the other half? If the sides don't match, you need to see your dermatologist. B is for borders, funny scalloped borders. Uh, that mole should be checked. In, in nature, we like to see round to oval moles, and they should be C, uniform in color. And D, the diameter, they should be 6 millimeters in size or less, so about the size of a pencil eraser. And they really shouldn't make any rapid changes. And they should be asymptomatic. So if a mole is itching, burning, uh, stinging, uh, growing, changing, new color, new shape, uh, new size, you should bring it to your dermatologist's attention. 
Let's take a look at a few melanoma skin cancers. Here you can see it's greater than six millimeters and the shape. This has those scalloped borders. It is not round and, or, or, nor oval. Here's an amelanotic melanoma. This melanoma is not black. It's pink and red. It even has some whitish uh, uh, color at the top. Uh, so we need to be on the lookout for any mole, whether it be pink, black, brown, red. Uh, that doesn't matter. Color variation, is it growing? You can see that this is greater than two centimeters in size. Here's a melanoma with a more classic picture of a melanoma. It's got the scalloped borders and it's got color variation. And again, it's greater than six millimeters. So we want to look for these patterns. Is there uh, something unusual uh, uh, lurking about uh, around your moles or, or in between your moles or maybe within one of your moles? Is there a rat? I don't know if you can see, uh, it takes a little imagination, uh, but my son pointed this out to me in the sky. Sometimes you think it's just a, a pretty day and uh, nice clouds, but here if you look, it looks kind of like a rat floating through the, through the air. So we want to recognize, uh, is there a rat lurking about amongst our moles? So be on the lookout. If you notice something strange, come see your dermatologist.